everybody and welcome back to Eats All Good and to my kitchen. I'm Judy and today I'm going to be preparing one of my son's favorites and one of my favorites, a very quick General Tao chicken. Now, um, lately I've been on a carbohydrate, low carbohydrate, fairly gluten free kind of a diet. So I have altered this recipe somewhat to enable that to be a gluten-free, low-carb meal. So to start with, I've got, we're going to make the sauce, because you have to start with the sauce first. So to start with the sauce, I've got a plate that has all the stuff that needs to go into the sauce. So it's very quick and easy. I've got two cloves of garlic that have been grated. I've got uh, about a teaspoon of ginger that has been grated as well. I've got one tablespoon of tamari sauce, which is the gluten-free alternative to soy sauce. So of course you can use soy sauce. And I've got a tablespoon of honey, uh, about half a tablespoon or so of chili flakes, depending on how hot you like it. Add more, take it down, it's all up to your personal taste, and some cornstarch. And all of that is going to go in to about half a cup of cold water. Very simple. So we're just going to pour everything into our, our water. Super simple. see it has all been incorporated and we will save this for the end. In my wok I have some oil heating up. I have, I'm making this just for myself so it's a very small portion. You can double it, triple it depending on how much you would like to, to make. I have a chicken breast that I have cut up in pieces, somewhat cube-like. I am going to lightly salt it just because we are using the tamari slash soy sauce. So just like a two or three finger pinch and a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Can't go wrong when you're making anything season. Season your food, season your layers and season your food. Then in this bowl here, I have a few tablespoons of cornstarch, which I'm going to toss the chicken in to lightly coat it, which is what gives the General Tao chicken that beautiful, beautiful, crispy exterior that everybody loves. So we're just going to lightly, lightly coat it. I don't know if you can see, but here you go. It's getting lightly coated. And this is when, when you're making any kind of sort of crispy dish that you would like crispy, um, whether it's fried fish, uh, whether it's General Tao chicken or anything of the sorts, cornstarch or rice flour are the two things that will lend themselves to a very, very crispy, crunchy, but not battery coating. And because everything I make has to have some sort of veg in it, I'm going to use asparagus. You can use broccoli, you can use cauliflower, you can use green peas, whatever you like. Or nothing, it's up to you. And we're going to just drop this into the hot oil so that it gets nice and crispy. There's not a lot of oil at the bottom of the pan because you're not deep frying. You're just literally searing because the pieces of chicken are so small, as you can see, they're very small, they're bite sized. Uh, you don't require a lot of oil because you're not immersing the chicken in it. You're just going to make sure that you sort of put it on one side. Once it starts to get a little brown and crunchy, you're going to flip it to the other side. When you're frying, do not overcrowd your pan. If you overcrowd your pan, you're going to reduce the temperature of the oil and kind of steam or poach the food, which is not what you're looking to do. I'm going to let this sit for a minute or two. I'm just going to get rid of all these dirty dishes, get them out of the way. 
in my hand a quick walk. So you can hear the sizzling going on. You will now, because when you put your chicken in the pan, you will hear that beautiful sizzle. Also, if you add too much oil in the pan, then you're going to have to remove the chicken, drain some of the oil out, because you don't want an oily sauce. Nobody wants an oily sauce. This is another super fast, really delicious weeknight dinner, or weekend of course, but it's great the fact that this whole thing can come together in under 15 minutes, maybe even closer to 10. I know everybody says, well, what about the prep, what about the prep? Well, you know what? The prep was cutting up the chicken breast, two minutes. Cutting up asparagus, another minute, and then just getting all my ingredients together for the sauce, another two minutes. So maybe another five minutes in total. Really, really nothing to write home about or to start complaining about or thinking that it's going to start slowing you down. As long as you're organized in your kitchen when you're cooking and you have all your ingredients prepared, there's no reason for it to not go very smoothly, quickly, efficiently. And you will end up with a delicious, delicious meal. I hope you guys have enjoyed my previous videos. I have made a um, shrimp and lobster sauce. I made a chicken schnitzel. And I made, um, what did I make? That's a good question. See, I'm actually pulling a blank. I'll have to go back and look at my videos. Well, this chicken is getting beautiful golden brown. And because it's such small pieces, it cooks very, very quickly. gives it that nice, thick, sort of glistening color and texture. So it's not like a loose, liquidy sauce. It's, it's what coats 
your chicken and it'll stick to the, the chicken and the vegetable and not just be all running. I guess you would say. So, because it's an Asian dish, I'm going to throw in a little bit of sesame seeds. I know it's not your standard ingredient for General Tao. Kind of like a mixture between General Tao and sesame chicken. Yeah, just a little sprinkle on top. And there we have it. My sesame general tail chicken, I guess you would call it. Now this is delicious over rice. And I know whenever people go to Chinese restaurants, that's what they always serve it over is beautiful steamed rice. But like I said earlier, I am on a low carb, somewhat paleo, somewhat Atkins, somewhat gluten free kind of a diet. So I'm going to omit that, but what you can use if you do want to have some sort of um, a noodle or something is you can get shirataki noodles, and shirataki noodles um, sort of taste like and look like rice noodles, Asian rice noodles, but they are actually made from plants. So it allows people who are gluten-free or have celiac or any kind of those, those issues or who are on a low carb diet to actually have the texture and the feeling and the bite of a noodle uh, without any of the carbs and glutens. So this is my delicious sesame general Tao chicken eats all good style. We will give it a taste. It's steaming hot. can see it's steaming hot. Mm. Delicious. You don't need to go to Chinese takeout. Make it at home. It's easy, it's delicious, and you know what ingredients are going into your food. And this way there's no MSG, there's no mystery meats, it is all wholesome ingredients. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything else that you would like to see me make, please let me know. Eats all good. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. And you will always find me in my kitchen. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. Bye.